Hey everyone, Charles here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on a 2022 Subaru Outback Wagon. All of the features and details really add up in making this one of the most premium bike racks out there. One of them being its versatility with the front wheel mount. You don't have to worry about your carbon frames being damaged or damaging the paint on your custom paint job style bikes. We're gonna be able to carry up to 60 pounds per tray. So it's gonna be great for your extra heavy electric bikes. One of the cool things is the tilt away feature. That way we can leave our bikes on while still being able to access the hatch so we can grab our waters, helmets, whatever we need for our bike ride. A great design is that the trays are gonna be staggered or laddered from each other. It's going to prevent bike on bike contact as well as give you extra clearance for when you're going up really steep hills. We're going to have two attachment points, the front wheel mount and a rear wheel back strap. Um, just a quick note about this feature on this particular bike rack is whenever you set your bike on, you're going to start with the front wheel mount. You're not always going to be aligned with the rear cradle, but this design allows you to easily be able to slide that cradle into place. And I really like how the strap stays away so you don't have to spend extra time or getting frustrated that your tire keeps on getting in the way because the strap keeps on folding over. Once we have that undone, keeping one hand on the frame so it doesn't fall in your vehicle, we can press on this button, lift up, push that out of the way, and now our bike is free. With the bike off, we can take a closer look at some of these features. Each wheel hook is gonna come with its own integrated cable lock. It's gonna be real handy not having to worry about misplacing it because it's stored right in here and they are gonna be all keyed alike with each other as well as with the lock that comes on the self-tensioning knob. Over here on the front wheel cradle, you can see that we have a thin groove to support your thin wheeled bikes all the way up to your five inch fat tires, but be aware that you need to get an additional adapter for the rear wheel straps so that you can accommodate those fatter tires. It's gonna be made out of a steel construction, so it's gonna be very durable and last a long time. This color is finished with a gray powder coat. It's gonna make it rust resistant. There is also a black color version available that might be able to match more with your vehicle. With a bike rack on the back of your vehicle, you have some added length. So from our bumper to the furthest point of the handle, we're at about 37 inches, something to keep in mind when you're backing in a tight space. And from the ground to the bottom of this handle, we're sitting at about 23 and a half inches. And from the shank, we're looking at about 12 inches. Another thing to keep in mind when you're going up those steep hills or driveways, the front of your vehicle is gonna go up and the rear is gonna go down. We can also fold this rack up to save even more room for our garage. It's just by using that same handle we use to tilt this away. And that is going to make the distance from the bumper to the furthest point out about 12 and a half inches. And the closest point going to be about five inches nothing to worry about as it's not going to get any closer than that some additional features that you can get with the yakima stage 2 is a, an aluminum ramp that's going to make your loading and unloading your bikes a little bit easier on the subaru outback wagon since it is lower to the ground you might not need that but another accessory is an attachment so that you can convert this into a four bike rack just make sure that you don't exceed your vehicle or hitches weight limits Living with this bike rack on your vehicle, you can see that your view is gonna be obstructed of the backup camera and the license plate. A little bit of this tail light, you have more visibility with that one and full visibility out of your rear windshield. Over here, we have our two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver. We have an alignment pin here and all the real action is gonna come in this self-tensioning knob. It's gonna make it a tool-free installation, so you don't have to worry if you have your uh, ratchet in your vehicle or not. Just hand tighten this clockwise, and that activates the anti-rattle feature. As you can see, as I'm shaking the rack, the whole vehicle is moving, ensuring its secure connection. Overall, this is one of the most premium bike racks out there. 
All of the features make it really easy to use and it's super smooth movements. You can just really tell when you're using it that it's just built really great. If you want to check out another premium option, check out the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack. It's going to have almost the same features, but it's also gonna have a built-in repair stand for your bike. But other than that, this is a really great choice. And that does it for our look on the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on a 2022 Subaru Outback Wagon.